Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, Markus, aka Executrix here. I'm one of the testers of uh, yeah, Battle of uh, the Atlantic mod and uh, help yours and Lummy yeah, one or two years uh, with several mods like East India or Indian Ocean Raid or Aptacom. Okay, um, I have re, uh, re upload uh, the Battle for, for the Atlantic install video, then it seems that uh, several people have problems to install it, correct? Okay, I will do this new video step by step. Okay, we have the war on the C folder. On my PC it's on hard drive D. Go to program files, x86, um, steam, steam apps, come on. Okay, now if you see I have several folders for the different uh, mods, uh, but I use for this example the vanilla uh, folder. You have the folder War on the Sea. So, um, if you never have uh, a mod uh, installed before, uh, you have no mods folder here. The mods folder is, is not including in uh, War on the Sea. Um, the first uh, step you need is, uh, the best step is to go to Steam, uh, check, your, check your file, structure, settings, uh, check for, uh, check for, for, for errors and the data. Okay, if this finish, you are right. But please check uh, in the war on the C data if you have a mod installed before. Uh, that you have delayed the override folder. Override folders will be created by mods. If you have remaining here, remaining of an override folder here, then delay it. Before deleted it, uh, check that the mods are uh, not activated. Okay, uh, next step. Uh, as I say, in the vanilla, you have no mods folder and no .sgme mod enabler. You can find it. Um, yes, the best step is mod, uh, mod enabler, yeah. There is it, several sources for the JSGME, like this. Uh, yeah. Here is it, download it, extract it, and then you can there's an installation. Unpack the zip file, copy the content to the GME. Um, yeah. Then you can put it in here, open it, and when you first open it, uh, it asks you that the program will create a folder mods. Uh, accept it, and then you have the mods folder. Okay. You see, I have several mods like my own created uh, German translation mod for a war on the sea. Okay, next step. Now we go <coughs> close all. Um, you go to war on the sea, to the mod section, discussions, mod custom content, um, the Atlantic campaign, and there you have uh, your uh, installation instructions. Um, yeah. Then yeah, you see what uh, units are in the mod. Yeah. And there you have there also, yeah, <laughs> you see it. There is uh, also a link for uh, the mod enabler. If you click on it, uh, I think it's a uh, yeah, Google Drive. Yeah, you can also use this link there in Steam. Okay, but it's, it's your choice if you download it per, per Google search or here on the Steam page. Okay, then you click on download. Um, yeah, then download it. Okay, and once it's finished, go back to the downloads folder. Then you have here the packet, package of the of the mod. You see I have a version 1.1. I have the newest test version. Um, yeah, unpack it. 
and then there the folder you have the, the method 30 file, the credits, the warm, the data installation instruction uh, and the newest change log. Okay, <clears throat> go back, right click, uh, copy and then you go back to the vanilla want and the C folder steam apps come on want to see mods past and you have to wait Okay, it's all there. Go back, open the mod enabler. Yes, go and uh, search for the Battle for Atlantic campaign. Enable it. Yeah, you see here the changes. That uh, he's, he's moving the files from the mod folder here to the main folder. It's a sign that the mod is activated, but wait with, uh, if the mod enabler is finished. And yeah, now he is activated. One, one warning. Battle of the Atlantic is an overhaul campaign, a standalone campaign, a, a mod for itself. It don't works with a combination like base or opposing magazine mod, the abandoned mod but like by Tesla Man. Uh, it don't work with a combination with the Tokyo Express main mod or Indian Ocean or East Indus and so, or CTM version 3 or Bob's Fantasy ships. Don't use or combine it with one of the other mods that it will not work. Okay, it's a standalone. You need only this file. Okay, close it. And uh, now we will starting it. Yeah, and there is it. That, that was it. Um, yeah. If you if you have to step by step, you will don't have problems to activate the link. Um, yeah. Hope you like. I hope you like it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.